Hey, what's up guys? It is Tristan back again with Semen Retention Day 30, 32. I have my new fringes on. Uh, one second. I'll show you guys this. Very high quality. Got the blue, blue ribbon on with some nice fringes. Got three of those shirts, so hopefully does something great. Uh, beard growing pretty nice. Uh, as far as the flat line goes, and as far as everything else, my energy is turning into anger. I think my body is really rejecting how lazy I am and I'm not lazy like I'll I'll fucking walk like 12 miles just to get job interviews things like that but my body knows that I don't care about any of that stuff it knows the truth when my mind simply doesn't know I don't care about any of the shit around me the economy is failing like the dollar is non-existent and we're still busting our asses nine to five just to have some source of security some source of survivability um it's no longer who's the strongest who's the biggest man who can kill and hunt and provide for you it is now who has the most ious stacked that's all fucking dollars are is iou one or IOU through a hundred. Um, I'm literally just trying to do what I can to survive in this place. This captivity, this enslavement from you know the regular job hours, eight hours of your life to prove that you can live in this little compound, wherever you live, a little apartment, a house, if you don't have acres of land, you're not really anything. But at the same time, like we still feel very, very esteemed, very prideful, very I'm better than you ish. Like that's the whole point in money is to differentiate classes. And sadly enough, I've fallen subject to that whole mentality to where I think that I am literally nothing. That's what social media is for. Everything is built to make you feel like you are literally not as good as everyone else. And if you have a high following, you feel superior, but behind the screen, you probably still feel like the person that wishes he was you. So... What I'm trying to say is I'm done being mediocre. Like I'll I'll do whatever it takes to survive now, I guess. Like I have no other choice. It's like either leave the United States and then find another struggle somewhere else in the world or stay where you are because as sad as it seems, this is like one of the best places to live. Which is crazy. There's a lot of opportunity to stack IOUs. Um, there's a lot of opportunity to just live comfortably and not serve God. You literally have to make money your God to be really, really set. It kind of makes me wonder like why all these rappers are getting like $7 million deals, $5 million deals because in the end times that we're in right now, money literally means nothing. Like our printing presses just keep printing the shit even though we're in debt. We're not doing anything to get out of debt because we don't have to because we're this fucking superpower of the whole world. Like no one wants to fuck with America. Like China says they own us, but literally have never tried to fucking step foot over here and be like, this is ours now. Because they know it would be a war. But now people are starting to realize, like, Iran, like, they'll probably congregate together and try to fight us. But Iran in itself could never do anything to us. 
but they're starting to get angry and that's like the first step in trying to overthrow this superpower of america but man i am just i'm watching everything crumble around me not in my personal life i mean kind of like i don't really like my give not giving a fuck is starting to affect a lot of things in my life such as my family such as my quality of life i would definitely like to <clears throat> you know not be homeless and be able to eat good meals but you know if i have to literally just be a slave for a good meal and a good bed I'd much rather die out in the wilderness free than live like this. And that's that's a terrible thing to say because of society. But if society didn't exist, that would literally be the only way for survival is to get it how you live and go do it yourself. Go cut down a fucking tree, make a fire, kill that animal, roast that bitch, eat, sleep, repeat, and then... Find out where the good fields are for berries. And then it would be that simple. That would feel way more accomplishing than a 9 to 5 every day. Sit in front of your computer. Absorb entertainment. Absorb media. Go to sleep. 9 to 5. Absorb media. Go to sleep. Eat. 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 Go to sleep. 9 to 5. Absorb media. Absorb media, absorb media, absorb media. Like, that's literally all you're doing. Even you watching me right now is some sort of just, okay, I need to live vicariously through anything. You're not living vicariously through me. You're just, you're lost. I've been there. I'm still there. I'm looking for any sort of answer that could help me get through my mundane existence. And YouTube is one of the very strongest ones. When I quit porn, I started absorbing way more knowledge from this site. Way more. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with any of the information. It's just a bunch of, like I said, Shopify, you know, Amazon FBA. I'm trying to find any sort of easier way to get money than just doing a nine to five because that literally has no end goal it's just work till you die that's it yeah doesn't sound good to me at all even my little walgreens journey like the opportunities are great start at 10 within like two to three months you'll be at 13 if you're good at what you do and it's not hard to be good at running a register and then walking to the back of the store to run another register. And then, oh, are you good at that? Nice. Worth two fifty an upgrade. Like, the fuck? <sighs> Nothing is satisfying my hunger. For, like, not like food-wise, but my hunger for something more. Something greater than myself. Except for the Bible. The Bible raises me up. Like, if I didn't have scripture, I think I would go insane. But yeah, uh, that's my little take on mundane and mediocrity. Uh, I'm really angry. My flatline has just turned into anger. That's all that has happened. I'm not angry at anybody. I'm angry at society as a whole and myself for being a part of it unknowingly for the majority of my life and now that i know i hate myself even more because i stay in it like i'm literally trying to be more a part of this society that is like literally terrible we strong arm everything take resources and go into debt and print money that literally means nothing just to feel like we're better than people to create class systems to Further scientific research about how to replace females with robots. Um, we misconstrue a bunch of information about the Israelites just because we don't want this system to fall. Um, blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics literally built 
the homes that you're living in. And if you want to get technical and be like, well, my contractors were white. Good for you, man. They're still a part of some sort of slave labor, which is the economy. <sighs> a bunch of weird information, and I probably sound like some fucking hippie dude. <laughs> Fake deep, like how they used to do X. But yeah, if you do enjoy this video, fucks with it. If you don't, I'll see you in the next one.